mountain and strength have come and the power of his Christ. Alleluia. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Well, when the Haitians say good morning, they always follow that greeting with, did you sleep well? Dormi bien. So did you sleep well? Did you sleep in the peace of Christ? As we begin this morning, let us put this day into the hands of the Lord so that we may live this day in peace with the Lord. Lord Jesus, you are our bread of life and our word of truth. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are our peace and our salvation. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are our hope. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who opened wide the gates of the heavenly kingdom to those reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, pour out on your servants and increase of the grace you have bestowed, that having been purged of all sins, they may lack nothing that in your kingdom you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen said to the people, the elders and the scribes, you stiff-necked people uncircumcised in heart and ears, you always oppose the Holy Spirit. You are just like your ancestors. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They put to death those who foretold the coming of the righteous one whose betrayers and murderers you have now become. You received the law as transmitted by angels, and you did not observe it. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And Stephen said, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. And they were stoning Steve. As if they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell to his knees and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he said this, he fell asleep. Now Saul was consenting to his execution the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Our response, into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress for your name's sake. You will lead and guide me. 
Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. My trust is in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The crowd said to Jesus, what sign can you do that we may see and believe in you? What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. So Jesus said to them, amen, amen, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven. My father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God that is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to Jesus, sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger and whoever believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As you know, Jesus promised his followers that if they gave up family and home, they would have many more of the same. They would have family members as numerous as the stars and the sands. But he also promised them persecution and perhaps even the loss of their life. Over the past few weeks, we've been hearing how the community of believers in the risen Christ grew both in numbers, in fervor, and in love for one another. No one was in need. And their preaching and witness added 3,000 members one day and on another 5,000. It's easy to see how this would challenge the status quo in the neighborhood and catch the eye of the authorities. We've also heard in these weeks what, that Peter and John were thrown into prison and flogged and commanded to never again speak the name of Jesus. And in today's passage from the Acts of the Apostles, Stephen is falsely accused, convicted, and stoned to death. Just as Jesus was. And just as Jesus did, Stephen commended his spirit into the hands of the Heavenly Father and forgives those who do him wrong. Like the Master does, so too his disciples. And what Jesus promised came to be. And what enabled Stephen to do what he did? Luke tells us, first of all, that Stephen was filled with the Holy Spirit. He wasn't facing his peril alone. And his longings were for the one who satisfies every hunger and thirst. In other words, he keeps his eyes on Jesus. 
St. Paul would later say, set your hearts on the things above, not the things of earth. You know, that's not an easy thing to do in uncertain times like these, but it's absolutely the necessary thing to do. To set our eyes not on the news, on our fears, and on tomorrow, but to set our sights on the Lord who is with us. Friends, in this brief time this morning with our bread of life, may he strengthen our sights and may our trust, our conviction, our resolve to follow him strengthen. And with Stephen, may we say, Lord, I'm yours. I'm yours. Now do with me whatever you will. Let us pray. For the church as the body of Christ in the world, may God bless her with both purity and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. For our elected leaders, may God grant them fortitude to rise above all that divides us. We pray. For those suffering religious or ethnic persecution, may God protect them from all harm and persecution. Let us pray to the Lord. For those in our community who have been baptized recently and their parents, may God give them strength to live out their baptismal promises. We pray to the Lord. For those who are sick, especially those suffering with this virus, and for those who care for them, Lord, sustain those who dress the wounds of body, mind, and soul, and those who suffer and wait on you. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have died, may they find a place in heaven at the eternal banquet of the Lord. Today, we especially remember Mary Kay Bilyeu. Let us pray to the Lord and for your prayers. Lord, we offer these prayers with conviction and with hope. Hope in, in you who keep your promises. May we never waver in our faith. And all this we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. 
Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice, yours and mine, will be acceptable to God, who is the Almighty Father. Amen. Receive, O Lord, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and proclaim your, profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with Barry, our Bishop, and all your holy people. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Bring them and welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with St. Bede and the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And we dare to pray as Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Most loving Jesus, I adore you with a lively faith. You are present in this sacrament by virtue of your infinite power, wisdom, and goodness. Although conscious of my unworthiness, I place all my hope in you. I love you, O Lord, with all my heart, and I desire to receive you now spiritually. Feed me, for I am hungry. Strengthen me, for I am weak. Enliven and sanctify me with your sacred body and blood. Deliver me from all sin and make me always obedient to your commands. Let me never be separated from you, my Savior, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit live and reign, one God forever and ever. Amen.
If we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Christ. Alleluia. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.